Welcome back to another Lincoln Tech Tip. Today we're going to talk about the different types of intercoolers and how they work. There are two main types of intercoolers, air to air and air to water. Now air to air uses outside air to cool the charged air in your system. That means that the heat exchange happens when the hot air in your charge pipes is cooled by air running across an intercooler. Now there are some pros and cons to running an air to air system. The pros are it doesn't take any power to run it, there's no water involved so there's no chance of leaks, and as long as there's good clean airflow to the intercooler core, there will be no heat soak, which is when an intercooler loses its ability to cool and temperatures continue to climb and climb. The cons of an air to air intercooler system are that the overall efficiency is limited by both the outside ambient air temperature flowing across the core and where that intercooler core is mounted in the car. Another thing you have to consider is that the intercooler core must be mounted somewhere that sees fresh air, so your packaging options are pretty limited. So an air to water system like we have on Lucky's car is quite different. The heat exchange that's happening here is between water and air. Basically, there is one single heat exchanger that takes the heated air from your turbo or your supercharger system and it is going to run it through an intercooler that's full of cold water, cooling down the intake charge and letting your engine make more power. Now that hot air that's been heated from that charge is pumped to a second heat exchanger that sits in the front of your car. It's going to see cold, fresh air, cool that water down and send it back up into the intercooler. There are pros and cons to an air to water system. The pros being that it's super efficient and it's going to make a lot of power. And because of all the small different parts don't need to necessarily be mounted anywhere specific, you have a lot more freedom with how you put it together. Cons being that there's a lot more moving parts, so it's really complex, there's more points for failure, and it's more expensive. As well as because where the intercooler is placed, it is more prone to becoming heat soaks, which basically negates the entire thing. So now that you guys are experts on air to water and air to air intercooler systems, you can use your packaging options, your money you have to spend, and the kind of driving you're going to do to make a decision on which intercooler system is right for you. Lincoln Tech can teach you how to have a career working with cars. See lincolntech.edu.